Home opener for Liberty on Wednesday night. The Flames come over with a 4-2 win over Radford in a battle of former Big South foes alongside former Flames first baseman Andrew Yasek. I'm Alan York. A couple of storylines in this ballgame, Andrew. Mason Hand, five innings, uh, took a no-hitter into that fifth inning, picked up his first win in two years. Really good to see the right-hander uh, back on his game. Yeah, like we talked about before the broadcast, his first start in two years, uh, got an inning down at Clemson, but, you know, really was interested to see how he was going to come out today, and he did not disappoint. Flames go on the board early in the first with a Ben Highfield single. And ben also did the trick also in the second inning with a two-run single. The Flames went up. 4-0, and it really gave Mason a good starting point to build off. Yeah, it did, and we talked about that. You know, we're looking for him to establish some com comfortability, uh, which which that early run support did just that. Radford would come back with a run in the sixth and in the seventh, and both of them, they seemed innocent enough, but it got Radford in the game down 4-2. It did, and we talked about it, uh, you know, later in the game. I mean, Radford kept it close, and Liberty didn't capitalize on a couple opportunities they had, but, you know, uh, like you said, it was a close game, hard-fought battle between these two very uh, familiar opponents. Landon Riley able to come in in the eighth and ninth inning to shut the door, pick up his first save of the year, and just getting that first win, taking that monkey off the back, even though early in the year, how big of a win was this for Liberty? Yeah, like I said, I mean, you know, like you like you said, it was only the fourth game of the year, but, you know, going uh, 0 for 3 down in Clemson, it was it almost felt like it was a must win uh, to get the that one, that first win checked off the board, and uh, Liberty did that tonight, so uh, keep them, you know, uh, you know, posted for this weekend against Seton Hall. You see eight hits for Liberty, a couple of hits for Ben Highfield, Brady Golikowski, Garrett Wilkins, and also a couple of hits. So Liberty wins it here over Radford, and they welcome in Seton Hall, 4 o'clock on Friday.